welcome back to the channel. As I said in my last video, we're off to the paint shop. Beautiful morning for it this morning. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that, the edges have been trimmed. The sun's out. Mid February. Absolutely beautiful. So, yeah, just up here through this next bridge, we'll be at the paint shop. So, let's get in there and then we'll see what's going on, shall we? That's it, wind it up. Doors going up. <laughs> it just fits in there. Okay. Flat out. Yeah, I don't know, flat out. <laughs> Thank you. 
Get in there. Right, I thought I'd just give you a quick talk through on what you've seen going on in the dock there. Just out on the towpath this morning for a wander, get a bit of fresh air. But yeah, we're, we're in the dock as you can see. Um, we're having the main cabin painted. The back cabin was finished painted in 2020, just as the first lockdown started. So we're back for the main cabin now. Um, plan was to rip it back down to uh, plain steel and start again. In actual fact, after a good look at it and a sand back, it's good, so we're not we're not going all the way back. We're going to do some repair work. Got a few little rusty spots here and there, all from damage, you know, stone chips and knocks and general boating use. Um, no issues with the steel, so we're going to do that. Um, Bino's just welded me up a little bracket on the front there. That you'll probably see that's the grinding and the welding going on. Remove the plank rack off the roof. Um, never have like that plank rack. It sits to one side. It's always on the wrong side when you ever want to use it. I don't use it very often, but when you do, it always seems to be in the wrong place. So we've removed that. Uh, Going to have a different one made up to go in the middle there. Um, and that's it, yeah. So he sanded it all down, um, treat, treated the issues, um, ripped the fore end down there. That's now down and going into primer, I believe. And that's really as much as we're going to cover this week, I think. Um, it's all looking good um, the paints all coming in so next week we're going to start um, getting some paint on her and building the back up again uh, the porthole liners there you'll see that I've taken all the porthole line porthole liners out sanded them uh, got rid of all the varnish and um, built them back up again with varnish you can have three coats of varnish on now the issue we found there which is quite common apparently is the windows are fixed in through the porthole liners if you like so the steel's drilled the screw goes through the steel, the cabin side, and straight into the wooden porthole liner, and that's what holds the window in, which is fine. But over time, uh, I mean, 16 years since then, windows were fitted and last looked at. Uh, water's tracked along a few of the screws, and it's just starting to make a little bit of mess to the inside of the steel and the inside of the inside of the porthole liner. Sorry about the train. Grand Union Canal always happens. It's never a train far away. So what we're going to do is um, we've de dealt with the issues of one thing and another um, and when we put the windows back in, we've only got the porthole windows, there's only five, three on one side, two on the other on the main cabin, we're going to rivet them in, pot rivet them in with some counter countersunk rivets and um, the liners, I'm going to fix them in separately from the inside, uh, like I say they've uh, been stripped and had some fresh varnish on them uh, and, then, and that way you know we've eliminated that that can't happen anymore plus if i need to i can take the liners out and, and give them a spruce up every now and again without disturbing the windows and i could also have a look to see if there's any issues going on on the inside and just have a check in in 12 months time or something hope you've enjoyed the video if you have give us a like um give me a subscribe uh i love the subscribe we're climbing now nicely which is helping us no end in youtube so we appreciate you guys for that and um comment let's talk about it um Bino and uh, Colin here in the paint dock, they're quite happy for me to film. I've learned loads off of them. I hope you have as well. But, you know, if you want to ask a question or whatever, you know, drop it in the comments. I'll speak to them. Uh, I'll answer if I can. You know, let's do it. Let's all learn together here. So, yeah, next week we'll have another video out next week and hopefully we'll be getting some paint on and maybe even getting back out the dock again. At which point we've got to head off to the next dock, the dry dock, and get the bottom bits painted on both boats this time. So, yeah. Until the next time, take care of yourselves and we'll see you soon.